En de derde dag van de Biodiversiteitscongres in Georgetown, Guyana, heeft zich gericht op het op grote schaal produceren van bospeperducten ten voordele van de lokale gemeenschappen. Want, zeggen deskundigen, duurzame ontwikkeling op het Guyana schild is mogelijk. Het vierde internationaal congres over de biodiversiteit van het Guyana schild vindt plaats in de Arthur Chung Conference Center in de Guyanese hoofdstad. Het congres richt zich op het uitwisselen van informatie over de biodiversiteit en oplossingen voor het behoud daarvan, waardoor menselijk welzijn gestimuleerd wordt. ATV brengt u in samenwerking met WWF Guyana's gedurende het congres een verslag vanuit Georgetown. General Pinas, communications officer van WWF Guyana's in Suriname, maakte interviews met de regionale vertegenwoordiger van WWF Guyana's, Laurens Gomes, CELOS-expert Maureen Pleveer en Heidi Malone, programmanager van de UNDP in Suriname. Alle drie zijn het erover eens dat er meer gehaald kan worden uit het tropisch regenwoud, zonder dat er schade wordt aangericht aan de bossen. WWF Guyana's coördinator Gomes is zich ervan bewust dat er meer onderzoek moet plaatsvinden in het Guyana schild. And we know that the Guyana shield is understudied. Uh, we start to understand more and more its relevancy globally. It's very important uh, that biodiversity scientists, NGOs, uh, representatives, all kind of stakeholders have a platform uh, to share the state of the art, uh, what we know today about the Guyana shield. And um, my expectations are basically around two major shifts that we need to be making. One is that um, we have to start appreciating how important the Guyana Shield is on a global level um, and start coordinating our efforts uh, in that context. But at the same time, make that message as relevant uh, as it is internationally, also a very important local message. We had a, a very interesting debate or discussion among uh, the, the Congress participants and some external uh, groups as well um, with the topic of mining, mercury and the sustainable development goals. Um, we believe that uh, mercury use is one of the major environmental threats to the Guyana Shield, uh, mostly through uh, the impact on freshwater, fish that are consumed by people and thus also uh, human health. Um, so we had a discussion uh, last night to see if the Sustainable Development Goals, the UN Sustainable Development Goals, can provide a framework, a solution to addressing gold mining. We are working on Kayapa as one of the non-timber forest parks in Suriname that has a big, 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 big economic potential. And currently we are working with a community in Apuera. They have a very big source of wealth, what we think, that is the Kayapa forest and they don't use it to the full potential. And that was the, that's why we came in, to see how we can really use this source for economic profit for the community. Salos is always well known because of the timber research that they did, sustainable forestry, sustainable timber production. But um, I came from a background of, uh, where I studied community forestry, and I know that the forest has more than timber to offer. And, and I know that timber, timber is a little bit difficult because of the capital that you need if you want to use it. While non-timber forest products um, are easier for communities to exploit for economic benefit. I do an oral presentation on sustainable production of non-timber forest products, NTFPs in two maroon villages in Suriname. The presentation is about the social factors that have an impact on the capacity of communities to sustainably manage uh, natural resources such as non-timber forest products. So the research focused on um, social factors such as social cohesion, participation in decision making, um, equity towards access of uh, the natural resources and how the producers of these NTFPs um, experience what their perception is of these social factors in their production activities. So the research is done in Godosolan and Pokigrong. In Godosolan, women who are working in the Kofiti soap factory 
are using herbs and other medicinal plants for en enrichment of the artisanal soaps that they produce. Over the past few days, we've had numerous likes and comments on the Facebook page. Keep joining this conversation as we continue the fourth International Congress on Biodiversity of the Guyana Shield. Dat was een verslag van General Pinas, communications officer van WWF Guyana's in Suriname, over, de vierde over het vierde internationaal congres over de biodiversiteit van het Guyana schild. ATV brengt u dagelijks in het nieuws een verslag van deze conferentie.